Welcome back to Sunday Lake in Wakefield, Michigan. The junior runabouts coming down the stretch into the starting area. The boat to watch in this race is going to be 47W, driven by Mike Howenstein of Oshkosh. He won by a very comfortable margin in the hydros. And there is Howenstein, 47W, coming up the inside and moving into first place. These boats doing quite a bit of bouncing, even though the lake seems to have smoothed out a bit since the hydros were run. One thing to remember, these boats are limited to a speed of about 35 miles an hour until you hit age 16, and then they take the restrictors off and you start running with the big boys. But Howenstein, one of the leaders, heading into turn number one. Coming around turn number one, boats still doing a bit of bouncing. Gonna be a test of these young driver's skills. And Howenstein is in second being caught on the outside. The boat in the lead is the black one driven by, I believe, Matt Gallagher of Rumson, New Jersey. Moving on to the numbers two and three, Howenstein seems to be having a lot of problem in that neon colored boat. He's now dropped back a notch or two. Howenstein on the inside has dropped now to third place by a boat length. In second is 79 Chad DeFebo of Wilmington, Delaware. Now Houndstein has moved back ahead of DeFebo, but the boat out in front of everybody is 47W, that is Howenstein in second. In first place, 58M, Jim Hagrill, not 58J, 58M, Hagrill. Hagrill hails, hails from Brutus, Michigan, and he has the lead. Coming around the second turn, again a battle between Houndstein and DeFebo. Hagerl is the first out of the turn. And there you see Houndstein at the front of your screen popping in and out of the water. There's the leader. That is Hagerl. Hagerl in first after one lap. In second is Howenstein. In third, Chad DeFebo. And in fourth, 10V, John Palmquist of Lincolnshire, Illinois. Setting up the other spots, fifth is Matt Vincent, 88R. And the rest of the boats stringing considerably farther behind. The leader, though, is Jim Hagrill of Brutus, Michigan, followed by Mike Houndstein. Into the first turn for the second time on. On this first heat of the J runabout finals. And Hagrill continues to lead Houndstein Fighting some choppy conditions along the back. Is about nine seconds behind in second place. There you see Hagrill all alone out in front. Howenstein starting to close the gap a little bit. And back a bit farther in third is Chad DeFebo of Wilmington, Delaware. Running well in first place, Hagrill 58M. Howenstein trying to close down the back stretch. But in these boats, in the junior classes, when they limit your boat to 35 miles an hour, if you give up some space, it's quite hard to make up. Hagrill in first, now DeFebo is second, and Howenstein has dropped way back. So Hagrill, DeFebo, 
And 47W, Mike Howenstein. Hagerill around turn number two for the second time. He's got, let's say, a two buoy lead on the second place boat, driven by Chad DeFebo. DeFebo trying to cut it tight and gain some ground on Hagerill. And Houndstein is still in third. It's a three boat race. But Hagerill has the commanding lead. And Hagerill gets the white flag, signifying one more lap to go in this first heat of the junior runabouts. DeFebo second. And about nine seconds behind DeFebo is Houndstein. DeFebo now moving up, trying to move up on the outside. As you see, they're closing a bit on the leader. And that leader is Hagerall. DeFebo closing on the outside. As Hagerall heads first around the buoy, the final time in turn number one. There's Hagrill opening it up again a little bit on Chad DeFebo. And DeFebo trying to close as they come out of turn number one and head for the backstretch for the final time. Hagrill is first, DeFebo. Also in your picture, about four boat lengths behind, closing considerably coming out of that final turn or the final time around the first turn. Hauenstein still fighting it back in third place. The nose coming up in and out of the water on the third place boat driven by Mike Hauenstein. There you see it, it's a bumpy ride for the youngster from Oshkosh. Moving back to places one and two, DeFebo is still trying to close on Hagrill. And Hagrill maintaining a four to five boat length lead. DeFebo will have to make that ground up on the final time around the second turn. Hagrill, first into the turn, Chad DeFebo looking to make his move. If he's gonna make up ground, he's gonna have to do it here in the corner. Here comes DeFebo on the inside. Now he moves outside of Hagrill. And maybe a little bit too far outside for Chad as he skidded a little bit. And Hagrill still holding that lead. In fact, widening a little bit as DeFebo tries to close on the outside, heading down the home stretch. Hagrill, 58M will be the unofficial winner in the J runabouts. And about a second behind will be Chad DeFebo of Wilmington, Delaware. There's your winner, Jim Hagrill, giving a little victory sign. Hagrill from Brutus, Brutus, Michigan, the winner in the first heat of the J Stock Runabouts. We'll be back with more APBA action right after this.